So this was not the video that I had planned for today. I was actually making a Dymo how to install it on a Mac tutorial. And then I found this out and I figured it is more important to get this information out as soon as possible before anyone else makes the same mistake that I did. How's it going everybody? My name's Eric. And in this video, I'm going to explain why you should not buy the new Dymo 5XL, the Dymo 550 Turbo, the Dymo 550, any of their new label writers that they've just released this year. And before we get into it, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. I put out a review video last week of the Dymo 5XL, my initial thoughts, my unboxing. But this morning, when I put in a roll of third-party labels that I have at the house, my Dymo software prompted that they're not official Dymo labels. It can't recognize the labels. Even when I tried to send a four by six shipping label to the thermal printer, the driver locks you out it does not let you print so i took the labels out and put their uh, starter roll back in and i looked at the two and i was really trying to figure out what did they add to this printer did they add a new sensor did they add what i'm holding the labels up to the light i just i can't figure it out i took a couple of their authentic labels ripped them off of the core put them in the printer the printer did not recognize it i've isolated that it's something in the core I'm trying to figure out, is the printer like weigh the labels? How does it know? Then I unrolled the labels and I found this RFID or NFC or whatever little chip on the core that Dymo has added to their new printers to force their consumers to buy their specific labels. This is beyond proprietary. This is double proprietary. The first proprietary is their design with the notches that uses a sensor to recognize the distance between the labels with that notch. And you would have to have these notched labels. Now the labels have to have the notch and they have to have a cardboard core with an RFID chip on it that the printer itself has to sense in order to allow the printer to operate. I think this is a terrible business decision by Dymo. As a consumer who prints shipping labels to get out packages, I want to be able to use my hardware however I want. I want to be able to use whatever labels I want. So if I wanna use third-party labels, I wanna use third-party labels. If I wanna use Dymo labels, I wanna use Dymo labels. Now they're going to mask this as convenience or as um, a feature when you put the RFID core into the printer. The RFID does two things. It allows the printer to know what labels are in there. It's like a communication between the printer and the labels. So when, when you put it in, it automatically knows these are four by six labels. And it also lets the printer know this is our starting amount of labels. So my RFID says these are four by six labels and it has 40 labels on the roll. So Dymo software can read that RFID, count down every time it prints until it hits zero and then basically render that RFID useless render the printer inoperable until I put in another roll of labels with an RFID that basically unlocks the printer and allows me to print the next amount of rolls of labels. I think it's 220 is what normally comes on their rolls. And then it would count down from 220 down to zero until renders that core useless. And then I have to do it over and over again. Dymo would sell this as a feature because it automatically recognizes the size and it tells you how many labels you have left. I don't know who really cares about how many labels you have left because when you run out, you just have another roll of them laying around and you just put them back in the printer. Like I really don't think it matters on a consumer standpoint to know how many labels that you have remaining. You can look inside of the printer and you should, as a business owner, have spare labels anyways in anticipation of running out of labels. So they might mask that as a feature, but it's really just controlling proprietary crap that's going to force a consumer to buy their expensive labels, which is more profitable for them. So figuring this out today, I really, really am disappointed in the printer. I would have been a lot harder on the review if I would have saw this the day that I released the review. But now I can say with confidence, do not buy the Dymo 5XL until one of two things happen. And that is that Dymo does an update of their software or their firmware on their printers that allows the printer to, to be used without the RFID cores, which I think they could do because they've been doing that on all of their previous printers. You could just put in some third-party labels and it would work perfectly fine. Or we're gonna have to wait until there's a workaround. China comes out with RFID copies and then you could buy your four by six shipping labels at two cents labels instead of eight cents labels from Dymo, which is ridiculous to be paying in comparison 
to a lot of the other label printers out there. So until those two things happen, I would say do not buy the Dymo 5XL, Dymo 550, the 550 Turbo, anything with this new technology. I really think this is a bad move for Dymo. We will see. Let me know what you think about the Dymo double proprietary design in the comments section. And if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.